Hi guys, welcome back to Coming Home to Autism. I have had a lot of messages from people asking how I stay so calm having an autistic child, how I manage to fit everything in, how I manage to do everything, and how I manage to ease my own fears and anxieties. So I guess today I thought I would just kind of take you through some of the things that I've learned over time. And guess what? I am not always so calm. I guess my self-care tips are not any great rocket scientists. This is just things I do that help me. And this isn't just for parents um, with children with special needs. It's for every parent. You know, parenting is hard and we all need to try and carve out space and time for ourselves. I gave up my career when Dylan was diagnosed with autism because I couldn't do and be everything that I felt Dylan needed and try and hold down a job. I mean, my job was working as an actress, so, you know, flying off for six weeks and taking him with me wasn't really conducive to, to helping him and giving him what he needed. So I became so focused on Dylan. Everything was about Dylan. And then obviously when Luca and I came along, everything was towards them. And, you know, one of the most beautiful things about Dylan is how much he loves me. This is also sometimes a little bit suffocating. Um, he loves me so much and I am, you know, I am his everything. I regulate his emotions. I help him make sense of the world around him. And this is exactly what I wanted to do when he was younger. So when you're with your child 24 seven and you are a mum, you can really easily quite forget yourself and forget what you need to help yourself through because you know, you forget that you are a woman, you're a sister, you're a daughter, you're a friend, you know, you're not just a mum and you're not just a mum to a special needs kids. You are you and I am me and I needed to remember that and I still tell myself that every day. I do have an internal dialogue that I say to myself. <laughs> I have to remind myself of a few things. It is okay to cry. You know, I cry maybe once, twice a week. If I'm having a bad week, maybe it's three times a week. And I do allow myself to cry because I need to get rid of that frustration. Sometimes I just feel like screaming and sometimes I do. Sometimes I go for a walk and to the highest point I can find and just you should really try it. Maybe if there's not a lot of people around, but I do, I yell and I scream and I, I wanna punch things sometimes because I do sometimes have a little pity party and I do go, why me? Why Dylan? Why, why, why? But I try not to stay there. It's really important that you don't stay in that place of why me and just as important to go there and to cry and feel it, it's also important to get yourself out of it. And the way I get myself out of it is, again, my self-dialogue in my head, is my child is not sick. This is my child. You know, I have to help him regulate his emotions. I have to help him in this world. You know, he is with me for a reason. You know, all those kind of things. It's easy to get frustrated with our kids. It is, and it's easy to sometimes feel like, oh, why can't you just put your shoes on? Why can't you just put your clothes on and go to school? Like, why can't you do like a normal kid? Yes, I said it. Why can't you be like a normal kid? And it's okay to have those thoughts. And you know what? He is a normal kid. He just finds things a little bit tougher. And it's okay to admit that, and it's okay to be like, he's also finding this tough. It's not easy for him to put his shoes on if he feels there's horrible things in there. So I, again, I always take my deep breaths and I try and, and just calm myself down by, you know, this is also difficult for him. This is a phase as well, you know, like when Dylan was four or five, he wouldn't wear any shoes, none. Now he wears one pair of shoes, that's a win, you know? So you go through struggles through life, just like with all our other kids, you know, some things are easier, you go through a bad patch, but guess what, the bad patch ends and it does get better. You know, right now we're in a bit of a bad patch, it will end and it does get better and everything in life ebbs and flows and it's really important to remind yourself of that. The other thing which is really important to remember is to try and eat good food, to try and take your multivitamins. I do make myself a protein shake and I chuck a banana in, I chuck a handful of blueberries in, I chuck whatever else I can find in the fridge in. If it's healthy, just chuck it in. Put my vitamin C powder in, whiz it up, and I can drink it while walking around. That's probably the only healthy thing I do for myself in a day. Because sometimes 
sometimes I do actually go a whole day without eating one single piece of fruit or veg. But yeah, it is important, note to self, to eat healthy, to try and keep your energy levels up. The next thing which I'm getting better at doing is taking myself off. It's okay to leave your child with someone else. Okay, they might not be so happy about it. They might cry, they might scream, but you know what? They're gonna be okay. And for you and me, we have to get headspace. You know, sometimes I'm so tired, I don't wanna go out for a walk or it's cold and it's miserable, especially here in the UK. It's like, oh, I don't wanna go. But you really have to try and do exercise for yourself, get the endorphins going for yourself, go for a walk. Once a year, I do go away on a girl's holiday with my sisters or my friends. And I, it takes about a whole year to plan that one weekend. I go from a Friday to a Sunday. I have an army of people look, helping look after the kids while I'm away, just for my own peace of mind. But yeah, that one weekend a year is for me to reconnect with myself again, for me to realize that I'm Tara and I'm not just a mum. And what are my wishes and goals? You know, we, as mothers, as parents, we always think about what our children want, what, how, are they okay? What are their wants and goals and needs? And guess what? We don't think about ourselves. So it is important to take a little bit of time out for yourself and realize what are your goals? What do you want? Not what your child wants, what do you want? I realize I'm really fortunate that I have family around me that can help me. You know, I can go away um, for a weekend a year. But if you don't have a support system and you are a single mom or dad on your own and your family lives far away or they just don't understand and don't feel they can help your child, there is respite care. Please, please, I know I've spoken about it before, but reach out. There's local charities in America and the UK that I know of. They also offer carers packages so you can go away for a weekend and they pay for you to go or they pay for you to have a massage or, I mean, that's a mini spa day in itself, right? You know? The other thing which, um, I couldn't live without is one of my best friends, Ian. she's Riaz's mum. And because she understands Dylan and I understand Riaz, we help each other out, you know? So it, when I was away on honeymoon, Ian came to help me look after um, Dylan because she knows him, she knows, you know, I'm comfortable because I'm not worried if he has a meltdown, she's gonna look at him and go, I don't know how to handle this. So it is really great to have friends who have children on the spectrum as well, because you can support each other out. Even if it's like, listen, can you come over for an hour? I have to get out for a walk. So again, Facebook, they always link up different special needs um, families. Social networking, it's great, because you can reach out to people in your neighborhood that maybe you wouldn't even know lived there. I met a woman on my street the other day and she has an autistic child who she homeschools and I wouldn't have even known she was there until I saw on a forum on Facebook that she'd posted and she was asking for um, advice in the local area and I reached out to her and I said hey I live down the road from you so reach out get that community get that support for yourself it is there. The next thing which I am trying to do which has really helped is at nighttime is doing a short meditation. Do you know that Matthew McConaughey can read you a story at nighttime? Just FYI, I'm just saying. I, I have actually listened to Matthew McConaughey reading me a story at nighttime. <laughs> Thank you, Matthew. But um, yeah, there's different types of meditation out there. Okay, some meditation actually does really annoy me because there was a guy, I'll just tell you the short story really quickly. I downloaded a meditation recently and he was telling me it was gonna be okay and you know, I should do this and I should do that. I got really angry with him. I was like, you don't know what I go through every day. Don't tell me it's gonna be okay. You don't have a child with autism. I actually got really angry at him. <laughs> the guy meant well. So I have decided to record a meditation. I'm gonna be recording it next week and I'm gonna put it in my YouTube videos and you can listen to me talk to you every night if you like. And I just wanted to do this meditation because I wanted to do it for, for us. You know, I don't want some guy who knows nothing about my life to tell me it's gonna be okay. But if another parent who has a child with autism tells me it's gonna be okay, I'm like, it's gonna be okay, isn't it? So it is gonna be up by the end of February. So guys, I hope this helps a little bit. I'm not always calm, but thank you for saying that I calm you down because that's why I'm doing this. It's okay to cry, but get yourself back up again. Because you know what? We have got this and it is gonna be okay. And I know I keep saying it, but it really is. Our children are amazing. They're amazingly hard work, but they're also amazing. And I adore Dylan and I wouldn't change him. I wouldn't change him for all the money in the world. Why do I cry when I say things like that? 
I wouldn't change them for anything. So once again, thank you so much for listening to me ramble on and I look forward to seeing you all next week. <sighs> Some words I say and I'm like, ha 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 ha